Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Terraria Expert Hardcore Edition. And for those of you who may not know, that means that I am playing on an expert world, which means everything hits harder and has more health, but I do have the potential for some better loot. And hardcore means that this character is a hardcore character, and if slash when I die, I hate saying it that way, but I feel like I have to, I'm dead. There is no coming back from that. Hmm. So far, we have killed the Eye of Cthulhu, we have killed the King Slime, and we are working on making our way towards the Eater of Worlds. But before I do that, there's an item I want to try and farm for. And that item is Medusa's Head. Medusa is a rare enemy that can be found in and around the marble biomes. i got to make sure I'm heading the right way. Uh-oh, am I? Yes, because that's where we want to head over there. So we'll go left. Oop. And... I want to try to farm for the item because it has a really good property in that it has an AoE attack and it affects everything in an area that I believe is a total of 50 blocks. Now I think that's 25 from the actual player if you hold in the mouse button so it actually has a charge up time. And I've heard that it works wonders against segmented enemies like the Eater of Worlds. So that is what we are going to try. Wow, these guys still do some some good damage, huh? Jiminy Crickets. Here I am just marching in with my 35 defense thinking I'm untouchable, but they've almost knocked me down to half already. Anyway, so I'm going to head down. It's a pretty rare drop. From my understanding, it is about a 1% drop rate. And that's at least on... Oh, that's at least on normal mode. I'm not sure if that drop rate is increased on expert mode. I believe it is, because I think most drop rates are. So we are going to head down to the marble biome. I have never made one of these traps before, so hopefully it is not too difficult to make. By the way, we may be coming back for these statues for a nice gold farm later on. But the plan is going to be to go to the marble biome, set up a little hovel for us to hide in. What is this guy doing? All right, geez, I guess we'll heal for crying out loud. But we're going to go to the marble biome. We're going to set up a little cave that we can stand under, and it'll be a 10-block wide platform above us with just a single bucket of lava. And what that should theoretically do... Where is this stupid worm? Hmm. Okay, so we need to go... Actually, it looks like there's maybe one down there and over there, but I like that, that kind of flat area. The 10-block wide platform will mean that any enemies that fall in it will get burned up in the lava, but the drops will not get destroyed like they would if the trap was much bigger. Okay, actually, you know what? I need this worm to go away, first and foremost. But I don't want to light the area up too much because that does prohibit spawns, and I can't go to the temple to get water candles because I haven't killed Skeletron, and that could mean that it would be just far, far too dangerous in order to go in and get water candles. If you go too far, Skeletron, or the Guardian, I should say, will spawn. And that is just not good for anyone. I don't know if this is, uh, if this is where I want to go. Okay, what is going on here? There we go, come on. Mother Slimes, you need to go away. Kill your babbies. There we go, all right. The only problem with this is the amount of water. Might make setting up the trap a little difficult. Okay, yep, I'm going to go to the other area that I saw first, and we will give that a shot. So, yeah, sorry that my thoughts are not exactly as coherent as they could be. I sometimes just need to concentrate so I don't end up dying. But here we go. Okay, so I also need to be careful because Medusa could kill me. I mean, Medusa could... And by the way, this is not my gravestone. It's a cross statue. I want you guys to know that. I just want to make sure that we are on the same page that I have not died in this playthrough. I'm not saying it's not going to happen. Just saying I haven't died yet. And if you think that you see a gravestone or something like that, please call me out. I will show you exactly what that item was that made you think that I died. And we will continue being one big happy family. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this area out, make it nice and flat. See you guys once I'm constructing the trap.
Okay, most of the arena is clear. I still have a little bit more to do, but I am going to... Oh, dear. Um... Mmm, mmm, get up. <laughs> well, now you saw Medusa in action. Oh, boy. Yikes. Now you can see why I want to, uh... Oh, jeez. Not... Hmm, do I have bombs? Oh, boy. How am I... Hmm. I might have... Oh, she got me. I don't know how much health she has. Oh, she has 400 health. That's more than a little. Come on. Yeesh. How am I going to do this? I know that all I need to do is face away from her and I'm safe, but... Okay, she hit me, no big deal. It's not that much health as long as I don't fall. Oh, gotta watch out for the hoplites. They're gonna be able to reach me up here, I think. Okay. Come on, Medusa. Doggone it. Hmm. Come on, Medusa. Wouldn't that be great if she dropped her head right now? She didn't. But, can you imagine? I did get some javelins. Javelins are apparently very, very powerful. Alright, so... Oh, I think right here is where the actual trap will be. So let me go ahead and just level this out. And then I need to count 10 blocks. Bat, come on. I don't have time for you. So here we go. So, one, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And it's really that simple. We're going to uh, spruce it up just a little bit, but not, not a whole lot. Let's see. I'm not worried about you. So hopefully this ramp will make it a little bit, excuse me, a little bit easier for them to actually get in. Buddy, seriously? So I'm going to ramp it up. There we go. Good. This will also make it so bats will go into it a little easier. Not that I'm farming from anything from them, but hey, gold is gold, right? There we go. So now to make my safety zone underneath. So once we make the safe zone, then we'll actually come out here and remove all the torches so things hopefully spawn a little bit faster. And just to be safe, where's my marble bricks? Where do my marble bricks go? There they are. There we go, and torch just for a little bit of light. Okay, there's Medusa. Can I... Oh! Hey! Our first Medusa in the lava trap! And it worked! I didn't get to her head, but it worked. Okay. Cool. So now I can just sit in here and relative safely. Actually, I don't even know that it's relative. It's just, it's just safe. And this should be a totally AFK farm now. Even the bats. They can't help it. They can't help it. All right. Good. So that is good to go. I need to make sure that I actually have inventory space. Hmm. Piggy, I know you don't have a whole lot of room, but I'm going to have to give you some stuff. Crate potions, glow sticks, cross, 
Empty bucket. What else? There we go. Lots of room just in case, just in case we get any drops. Now the goal is going to be to go out there as safely as can, as we can, and uh, remove torches. Oh, we got a hop light. We got a hop light. Excellent. Oh, that's fun. And I, you know what? I need to patch that up because that could cause some problems with things actually uh, getting stuck. So let's go ahead and block that up. Sorry, black slime. Although, you know what? I should probably actually kill you. Because you might actually decrease my spawn just a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. So here we go. Yeah, there's a little bit of a gap, no big deal. All right. I don't know if I need to get rid of this or not, but I will. I'm gonna go in just a little bit and get rid of torches as well. I don't, oh geez, wow. Uh, well, I, uh, <laughs> it's working. I mean, she's spawning, that's for sure. Now what I can't do is look at her. Oh geez, I really need that one. There we go, good. Now get in here. We'll just keep making trips out to block it off or to get torches as we need. Again, wouldn't that be great if I just got the drop right now? No, no, what? Medusa, wrong. Sweetie, I need you to, oh. So, well, at least I can see that she didn't drop it. So I need to make that higher. That's something I need to do, okay. Lesson learned. Uh oh, Medusa, you crafty maiden, you. She's spawning pretty frequently, actually. Can you jump out of that? If you can, you didn't. So that's okay with me. All right. Not worried about a skeleton. Okay, get that torch. Uh-oh, careful. Go, 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 go. Okay, she can still jump out. Ay, caramba. Well, the spawn is working, but the problem is I need to get out there still. All right. It's done. The torches are gone, and I brought, I thought I brought a campfire for uh, for comfort, but this should be my AFK farm, guys. So I'm going to do exactly what the name of the farm implies. I'm going to go away. I'm probably going to go clean my apartment for a little bit, check back periodically, make sure that I have some inventory space. Let's get rid of some dirt, some of that, some wood. Javel, look at that, 17 throwing damage. Pretty solid. Pretty solid indeed. All right, let's see what kind of goodies we can get. Well, well, well. The trap work, guys. Look, the forceful Medusa head. In fact, I thought I was going to have to sit AFK all night and actually fall asleep while this went. But I got it. In fact, it's only been about an hour. Not bad at all. And so, well, you know, I'm going to show you on the surface exactly what it does. Let me show you what else I got. I got a couple things because the bone skeleton or the uh, skeleton merchant showed up. So I bought a precise blue counterweight. I bought some strange brews, a few spelunker potions. Look at all these javelins I got. 849. Oh, how cool is that? 17 throwing damage, not bad at all. I also got the full gladiator set, which it really doesn't have any set bonuses and the defense is pretty weak, but I think it looks pretty cool for vanity really big fan uh got some red husk so i can make some red dye whatever got gold worm so that's 50 percent bait power but wow that worked way faster than i thought so on that note excuse me mr worm i don't appreciate your tone so let's check this out now 
It says it does 30, what is it, 33 damage, right? So 33 damage. Now, I'm also getting the bonus from the Meteorite set because each piece does 7% extra magic damage. Very cool. Now, let's, uh, what do I want to test it on? I wish I had a practice dummy somewhere. Let's find an enemy real quick. Let's see. See what kind of damage we can get. Come on, really? Now there's not going to be any... Any enemy, huh? Just nothing. No slimes, no no buzzards, no vultures, no, no ant lions, nothing. All right. Well... I'll have to show you. Oh, okay. Here's a uh, here's an adult ant lion. Okay, so that was 28 damage, and that was not holding it down. Now, if I hold it down the entire way, 89 damage. 89 damage, and it is a big area of effect. It is a 360 degree area of effect, and the only thing that can stop it is if it uh, if you have any blocks in the way. Here we go. Just toast, 105 damage. Awesome crit. Just awesome. So I am going to go to our good friend, Mr. Tinkerer, see if I can get it reforged. I don't know how much it costs. I'm guessing it's probably pretty expensive. Eh, it's only two gold. Forceful's not really a great modifier. Anyway, let's give it a shot. Hurtful, another 11% damage. Hmm, that's a shame. And damage. Oh, great. So I went down. <laughs> well, definitely going to have to get some more gold and do that again. But next, my plan is to start building the arena for the Eater of Worlds. Hmm. I'm going to have to look up some designs. But I think Medusa is really, really going to help me out. Well, you all just experienced really no gap at all, but for me, there's actually quite a gap, at least several hours in between the last recording and this one, and I've done a number of things that I'm really excited about. First off, I went and I sold a lot of my inventory. First off, I did actually finally organize. You can see um, I have, this is my backup. I do have another slimy saddle. I did get another rain event or slime rain event. I have fishing, I have boss and event summons building materials, herbs and potions, everything is actually organized now. And I also sold a lot of things that I just didn't need because I needed gold to reforge a lot of items. And I wanna show you the items that I have and the reforging that I got done because I got incredibly lucky, incredibly lucky. So as far as the hotbar goes, Katana, I haven't reforged that just because eh, it's expensive and I don't know that I'm really gonna be using this all that often anymore, but we'll see. Yeah, you know what? Actually, we might reforge this a couple times before we head down into the corruption. But I have my Tungsten Pickaxe, the Quick War Axe of the Night, Powerful Demon Bow, the Demonic Space Gun. And then moving right along, I got the Superior Medusa Head. So you remember the last time I think I had the Annoying uh, prefix on there. And now I have an extra 11% damage, 3% critical strike chance, and 10% knockback. I think we're going to make quick work of the Eater of Worlds. At least that's that's what I'm hoping. As far as accessories go, my vanity is the gladiator set that I picked up while farming for the Medusa helmet. And I have the full meteor set, so I have plenty of defense and I get the increased damage for magic items, including the Medusa head, which is pretty cool. And now, check this out. Warding Obsidian Horseshoe, Warding Spectre Boots, Warding Shield of Cthulhu. And this I actually didn't reforge. I fought the Eye of Cthulhu and I got the Warding Drop, which is pretty cool. The Warding Mana Regen bend which is going to be helpful while using magic items and the warding lava charm actually you know what i really don't need the warding lava charm i'm going to switch it for the warding shark tooth ne necklace which increases my armor penetration by five i don't know if the eater of worlds is heavily armored but if so that ought to help i could have also switched it out for the cloud in a bottle but you know what i'm finding it more confusing to have a double jump with the rocket boots than anything else some other things that have changed i have this the fuzzy carrot I turned in a fishing quest and I got this, and this is actually a new mount. So even though we didn't even get a chance, hi Red Squirrel, we didn't even get a chance to use the slime mount very much, check this out! Look how fast you are! Oh my goodness! It is just so fast, I love it. So we may be swapping them out at time, but for now I'm going to be using the adorable little bunny mount and it's going to be great. And oh, can't fit through the doors, I forgot about that, so we will... You know what, actually, let's go ahead and drop this slimy saddle into our piggy bank. And we do have our money trough so we can access it anywhere. 
And then lastly, before we actually head to the Corruption to start preparing the boss arena, I do have some Shine Potions just so the area is brighter for me when I fight. I have Iron Skin Potions. I don't have any Regeneration potion, uh, Potions because I don't have any Moon Glow. And that's unfortunate, but we're going to try to make do without. I am going to bring a campfire for the added regen, and you see I have these eight chain or these eight life crystals and 32 chains. I didn't specifically craft these because I wanted you to see it. You can make heart lanterns, and I'm going to make all eight of those. And you know what? Just for fun, we'll go ahead and put one in the house. And this is increased life gen, life regen. So the campfire is life regen, heart lamp is life regen, and once I eat my cooked fish, that's added life regen. So I'm regening pretty quickly. I think that's pretty exciting. So in the boss arena, we're at least going to use one heart lantern. And the other thing I want to craft is, I didn't even need to be at a crafting station, a star and a bottle. Star and a bottle. I'll just put this down, then I'll break it. This is increased mana regen. Very cool. So going to be very helpful for the boss arena, I think. Um, I did pick up an iron crate. We're going to go and drop that off at the new house. I am going to save all crates from now on for hard mode. For those of you who don't know, any crates that you get in normal mode, if you hold on to them until after you've defeated the Uwall of Flesh, you can actually get hard mode ores, hard mode gear out of the crates. And that's going to be kind of my saving grace. If I do get that far, we're going to want as many items and as much ores as we can get right at the beginning before we just kind of explore the new world in hard mode. Now I'm talking to the Dryad because I need some purification powder. I don't know that I need 99 or not, but we're going to be using that in order to shape the arena for the Eater of Worlds. In fact, we are going to start heading our way there now on our bunny mail. Look at how fast he is. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, by the way, the painter arrived. He's nothing special. I mean, no, no offense, but he's not. I mean, oh, there we go. I don't know that I'm going to be doing much painting. I'm just not creative enough to even know what paints I should be using. So it should go without saying that I am terrified of the Eater of Worlds. <laughs> I've been terrified of every boss encounter and the Goblin Invasion. And, well, in the beginning, I was terrified of those stupid slimes. But hopefully, hopefully the preparation is going to pay off. Oh, goodbye, Aphrium. And this is going to go smoothly. I think the Medusa Head has huge, huge potential. Do I have bombs? I do have bombs. Because I still need to break one more orb in order for him to spawn. All right, May I always make sure that I have my horseshoe equipped before I drop, and I do. Good. Oh, jeez. Is there not much of an open cavern? I might have to fight him in this and really just kind of... There, where's the nearest orb, though, is the question. You know, I haven't explored this way. Let's explore this way and see. Okay, there's one there, and there's a bit of a depression here. This... Oh, wow, I have one open already. This might be the arena. I think this is it. I think we have found our arena, everyone. So here's the plan. I'm going to make approximately square. I don't need it to be perfect at all. But I want it to be somewhat square. Oh, this goes... Yeah, we're going to block this off right away. We're going to make it kind of square, and we are going to block it off so the other corruption enemies cannot actually get to us. Oh, jeez. All these demon altars, though. I, they shouldn't be a problem, I don't think, right? I don't know. Anyway, so I'm going to get started. Probably going to do a little bit of time lapse and a little bit of just cut footage here because it's going to take a little while, and I'll see you guys when I see you. Well, I would say that this arena is about as finished as it's going to be. It's not perfect. I have a couple of altars that I can't get rid of. I also have this, which apparently is demonite, and I can't mine that yet. But... The good news is that the campfire, the star in a bottle, and the heart container all go to all four corners of this arena. So wherever I go, wherever I try to fight this guy, I am going to get all three of those buffs. Oh boy. So the goal is, or I guess the idea is that the Medusa head, if I can get the Eater of Worlds to kind of curl himself around me, which he does quite frequently, I can use the Medusa head to get attacks on almost all of his body segments and if I can do about a hundred damage each that could possibly do 5,000 damage because he has 50 segments and he has just over 10,000 health so I mean this is all theoretical 
I could get him down in just a few hits. Will I? I don't know. Am I going to survive? I don't know. Um, I mean, I have... Look at this defense. 40 defense with my well-fed buff. Plus, I'm going to use an iron skin. That's 48 defense against the Eater of Worlds. I mean, I gotta be okay, right? Right? Right, guys? So, I rearranged my hotbar, got the katana on standby, demon space gun, or demonic space gun. This could be helpful because it does piercing, so if I have to rely on that, I will. The Medusa head, of course, and then recall potions. In case things get too hairy, I am gonna beat a hasty retreat if I, uh, <laughs> if I get the opportunity. I have potions at the ready. Oh, jeez. Okay. Alright. We're gonna re-up our food. I, oh man, where do I want to fight? I'm going to probably fight over here. It's kind of, well, yeah, I think this is the biggest clear area. So that's going to be the plan. Okay, ready? No time like the present. Buff. All right, here we go. Where are you? I also want to... Come on. Wow. Oh, the damage. Oh my gosh! <laughs> okay, I am taking some damage, but still look at that! <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> I want to fight you again! I want to fight you again and again! Come back! Okay, this gets annoying when there's only a little bit left. Come on! All right. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious, guys. Medusa. The Medusa head strat. Dug on it. Come on. Stay up. Stay, stay, stay. Got him. Oh my word. Come on. Oh my word. I can't believe how well this worked. Would you? <clears throat> All right. I think we're just going to have to finish it off just because it's taking forever. But wow. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> Guys. Medusa head. Tell your friends. Oh, my word. We got a treasure bag. Oh, jeez. How many scales did we get? Wow, a lot of scales. And lots of demonite ore. All right. What do we get? We got more demonite ore. A wording... We got the warding worm staff, or uh, scarf rather. Where did it go? I, my hands are shaking, guys. Where is it, really? Um, hello? Oh, right here, Herb. Reduces damage by 17%. Oh my goodness, and it's warding. So what do we want to get rid of? Maybe the mana regen band? Oh my goodness. Incredible. 17% damage reduction. That is huge. Guys, I am going to be right back. I'm going to go back to base. We have enough rotten chunks to actually spawn him again. And I think I want to. So what do we need? I need rotten chunks. And I need some vial powder. And all right, guys, see you back in the corruption again. We're going to do that again. That was so fun. Okay, worm food. What do we need? 15 and 30, which I have... I only have 20, so we're only going to be able to do it one more time. It's a shame. Oh, I got the Vile Thorn, too. Apparently, that could be really good for the Eater of Worlds, too. It doesn't seem to go very far. Hmm. And it's godly, too. Okay, can I re-up? I can't. All right, so I'm gonna manually re-up. There we go, and worm food. All right, here we go. <laughs> wow. Oh. Oh, 
<laughs> oh. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that is too fun. That is too fun. Wow. I, I... I'm glad I made the arena. I'm glad I made the arena, but boy was that overkill. We're going to come back another time and harvest some more orbs now that we know that we can defeat him so easily. But I say we could... Well, first off, what do we get? Oh, I got the Eater of World Mask. How fun. And I got the Worm Scarf, but it's not very good. How does, it, how does this look? Eh, I like the Gladiator set. Wow. But we have lots and lots of stuff. We can go make the full Shadow set. And that's exactly how we're going to wrap this episode up. So... Let's get right to it. Oh, we have so much stuff to make. So much stuff to make. Um, let's see. Do I? Can I do any quick dump? I can. Good. And let's get demonite bar. <laughs> Look at how much demonite ore. That's just a silly amount. Absolutely silly. Um, but up dum. Where's the demon? Oh, I'm not in front of the anvil. I gotta be standing in front of the anvil. Here we go. <laughs> I probably have enough. I probably have enough. Here we go. Wow. Time has come. Shadow helmet. Shadow scale mail. So this is 6, 12, 19 defense. This is 5, 11, and 16. So an extra 3 defense. Here we go. Done. And done. I'm at 59 defense with the Dryad's buff. 51 without it. With, oh, obviously that's with Iron Skin and Well Fed, but wow. Okay. Now, what else am I... I already made Light's Bane. I don't need that, but I do want the Nightmare Pickaxe. Standard one. Okay. What else? I might as well get the Breaker, right? I already have the War Axe. Might as well get the Breaker. Got the Massive Breaker. Oops. Oops. Sorry. Sorry, NPCs. Please don't mind that. Um, is there anything else? I mean, I could make the malaise. Wow, but that's really it. Look at how much extra stuff I have. I'm probably going to end up making some... Some bars or some, some actual crafting materials so I can build with it. Look at this. I just have an absurd amount. Oh, my goodness. Ha, ha, ha. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Eater of Worlds is done. We have killed the Eye of Cthulhu, the King Slime, Eater of Worlds. I think what's next is the Queen Bee. And yes, I'm terrified of the jungle, just like I'm terrified of everything else in this game, but I think with, with good reason. Another thing that I wanted to mention, by the way, the cursor. You'll notice that it has a white border around it. I learned how to do that thanks to a uh, some people on the Terraria forums. It is an in-game setting. It's not a mod. It's new, I think, to 1.3, but you just have to go into the configuration file in the Terraria folder and you just change the thick cursor to true instead of false. I will link a, uh, a link in the description for either a video or the forum post where I learned how to do that. But, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're still enjoying the series like I am, I am having a blast. Make sure you hit the like button and leave me a comment below, and I will see you next time.